You know, I like painting over things a whole bunch. Basically just like, sometimes I just get the thing wet and just like see what's underneath there. Cause like, I paint layers and so some of the layers get covered up but then I can like find them again under there. And I'll like let it drip and stuff and you know, get all these weird effects that way. I was drawn to art at a very early age. Uh, I used to design things, bicycles, houses. Eventually I just wanted to draw, you know, weird things. Things from my imagination. Well, I'm not a struggling artist. I don't, I don't think I'm really trying that hard. I went to college for art where I failed beginning ceramics twice but uh, took me five years to graduate, owed about $26,000, which wasn't that bad, but I paid it back in the Army. Uh, so college was a good experience. Go to college, kids. It's fun. I happened upon Andrew's work. Um, walking by June Fitzpatrick Gallery on High Street uh, one evening with a friend headed to dinner and we just decided to pop in and uh, I just was really taken with the work. I, who is this person, I thought, you know? Who, who is doing these incredible things? And Andrew was sitting the show, but it took a little while to get it out of him that he was the artist. I have never gone into a gallery and promoted myself. Uh, I cowardly, lishly email them. And I'm kind of done with that now. Like, I just use Facebook and they contact me now. And as we talked, then he pulled out this tattered, taped together portfolio spilling out with all kinds of sheets of paintings. You know, it looked like he just would paint on any surface he could get his hands on. Cardboard. Acrylic. Then he explained that um, when he was in the military, he couldn't have large scale pieces of paper and this had to be portable and so that's why he was uh, painting in that scale. Being in the Army definitely influenced me as an artist. It made me do smaller things, uh, things that, could, that are more portable, portable things. Uh, brought me that, gave me that discipline, you know, to finish the mission. Woofing is very, it's a good thing to do. I would suggest it to anyone, woofing. Willing workers on organic farms. You get to experience all kinds of strange things. I worked at a whale watching place and got the worst sunburn of my life. I think I almost died. I worked on a beef farm, but I'm a vegetarian, so, and that was a great place to work. Uh, okay, these are looking good. I got this pink paint. I've never had anything like that before. It's very fluorescent, so. Now all my paintings have like fluorescent pink in them. Hmm. Just destroying, just destroy everything. Destroy, destroy all my paintings and just start over every time. See, I'm see, seeing this circular shape here now. So then. Maybe I can go in and add some detail or something. Uh, so the first piece um, that I got that day at June Fitz Fitzpatrick Gallery um, is, the, is the largest piece that I have, uh, all of these rabbits. It's been hanging in my kitchen ever since. And um, so when I'm cooking, I just, I go in there. And I could go in there forever. And I think that that's one of the things that draws me most to Andrew's work is the depth of the work and um, how long I can spend in there. It's like being in his mind, you know, it comes from inside of him. It's not his perception of something he's seeing outside of him, but these are actually 
the, the characters that are living in his inner landscape, in, his, in the cells of his brain, it feels, and, uh, and, that, and these rooms, these rooms maybe of his dreams. It makes me feel great that people collect my work and come back and buy more things. That's, that's what I need, is more people like that. <laughs> I am represented by the Robert Fontaine Gallery in Miami, which is a big deal for me. They're taking me to Art Basel, Switzerland in a couple months, and I'm, it's the biggest opportunity I've had. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to the future in that aspect. And also Garner Narrative in Louisville, Kentucky represents me, and they, you know, it's an up and coming gallery there, really nice. So. Really excited about that. Both of those uh, were, you know, Facebook contacts. Add me as a friend on Facebook, Andrew Abbott. <laughs> I just want to get better at everything, you know, and just live, live a good life, do the right thing, you know. I just want to, you know, I believe in God, you know. I just want to do the right thing. I just want to live and, you know, experience life and just, just be, just be the person you know I'm supposed to be or you know everyone everyone wants to do that everyone just wants to do what they're supposed to do I think I'm doing what I'm supposed to do the circular shape that I keep seeing layers goes in like a telescope uh, that one's finished <laughs>